Hi all, Tech Terry down here. Today I want to talk about Beam. First things first, you might be wondering what Beam actually is. So I hadn't heard of Beam until I read this blog by Darren Fireball or John Gruber. He basically explained that Beam was now in a public beta and going to Beam, I was able to actually take a look at the website. So it's beamapp.co if you're interested. And so they have a really nice website here that kind of explains what they're doing. But the best way to actually test is to download it yourself. And so you can try Beam. They really seem to be focused on capturing the web, which seemed pretty similar to Arc. So I immediately downloaded the app. It's for Mac and started to play around with it. So what you're actually seeing here is Beam itself. So this is the browser. And so I want to do a little bit of a comparison against Arc, but first I'll show you what Beam actually looks like. So when you go into Beam, you're dropped into a view that just basically says search the web. You can take some notes. You can see down here, I have notes for the day, which is what I'm going to be talking about here in a little bit. But looking at this browser, you can immediately just type things in, quickly be able to go to different places on the internet. So you have the tabs up here that you should be very familiar with. If you use something like Chrome, you can also do these tab groupings. And so I grouped some tabs here about Beam before I was making this video. So you can capture these in a note, you can move them around for actually being able to group things like you do in Chrome. What I really like though is that actually when you close all of these out, you're still able to search for those old groups. So here I can type in Beam. You can still search for those old groups. So even though they've disappeared, they're not here any longer. I can type in what is Beam and you can see this first option here is actually gonna pull up that group that I just closed, which was really nice. So it's keeping everything here so that I can come back to it pretty quickly. What's really neat about Beam is that you're able to take notes like you would in Arc Browser, but a little bit different. So it has a table here, which reminds me a lot of Notion. And you can either create notes based off of themes or there is automatically created for you each day what they call a journal. And the journal is where all these little snippets start to live. And this is where I think it gets really cool because I myself, as organized as I might be, I don't always love to go and organize just everything that I'm browsing. Sometimes I just wanna take certain things and be able to remember it later. So each day you'll have one of these journal entries where maybe things that you just thought were neat and you can search for these later. So for example, here, there's an article around Coinbase's earnings. So let's imagine I'm a month down the line and I wanna look for Coinbase. I can see that on August 9th, 2022, if I click into it, sure enough, Coinbase is there at the bottom. So if I had more than one note, it would tell me all the places where that came up. So pretty neat feature there. The way that we're able to actually grab things is if we are in an article, you can either save the entire page by hitting Command S, which will create a link. So I added it to my journal, or I really love this, just holding down the Option key brings out a selector here where you can choose either pieces of text, maybe it's an image. Let's grab this image and I'm gonna add it to this day. Maybe I liked, let's see, a couple pieces here. I'll add those in too. And I know you can't see it in the video, but there's actually a really nice haptic sort of scroll when I'm going over things, holding down option on my touch trackpad. I can feel tiny little dots moving around, which is honestly just something really nice and unexpected for this. So for all the things that I captured, you can see here, I'm back in my journal just by hitting the home button. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom here, you can see that picture that I just grabbed. You can also go out to the article itself, or you can minimize that link, which I actually like a lot. So you can expand or shrink depending on what you're wanting to do with it. Now, let's imagine a scenario where maybe we're reading an article on The Verge. Let's say we wanted to save this page entirely, so I'm gonna hit Command S. That's gonna save it to my journal. 
And as I'm reading through the article, maybe there's a particular quote that I really like here. So I'm actually going to grab this paragraph. And so if we go back to that journal, what you'll see here at the bottom once I go down is that it's actually nested these, which is very cool. And so I'm able to, for this article, look at the items that I saved, the pieces or snippets of content, go in a running list, so I can see that there. So I really love this. I would probably use this a lot, just taking random notes throughout the day. I wouldn't have it super organized. Just take a bunch of clippings for the day. And anything that I wanted to save, you could always copy it and add it to a new note. So if you click on the glass here, you'll be able to create a new note. And maybe this one would be related to the CHIPS Act. And then I can go ahead and paste that in. Now you'll notice that I'm able to have the pieces of content toggle up. And I can see that this was done on August 9th, 2022. So there's also a feature here to publish. So you'd be able to publish this just like you are in ARC. And all of those live here in the notes section. So if you ever want to get back to them, you can see some other tests that I did here, but all of that is, is there. And so in the note, you have some basic options for being able to move things around. So you can drag the handles. You're able to do some basic markdown. If you hit the slash button, you can put in a to-do list. So if I hit slash here, you can put in a to-do. I can do links to other notes so I can link those sort of backlinks like you do in Notion and you can do some basic editing here so nothing fancy with the colors but it's pretty nice and clean. All right and how would that compare to Arc? If we want to do the same type of thing where we were saving something from the CHIPS Act then the best way we'd probably be able to do that is just to grab this sort of screenshot you can drag a portion of the page, probably grab this top portion here. Then you can save it to an easel. Again, you don't really have that daily journal, which is a feature I think I would really in ARC, but if you hit new easel, then you can grab that there. And as you're taking notes for this, you'd be able to grab certain quotes that you really like, and you'd want to do it split screen so that you could just grab the notes and pull them over. And of course you have more editing options here. It's a little more playful in Arc than it is over in Beam. So being able to grab content fast into sort of what I would consider a daily clipboard is something that I really like a lot. I'm gonna be testing out a, lot, out a lot in Beam to see how much I actually use it. And I love the search functionality. The search functionality really makes this stand out to me. I'm constantly taking notes, but I'm not the most organized. And so I love to be able to have a great way that I can search for things. Now, if you try to do the same thing searching in ARC, you're not able to do so even here. If I'm trying to search for maybe something related to the CHIPS Act, I'm getting the header there, I'm getting the article that I wrote, but that's pretty much it. If this were named something different, so let's just name this The Verge. If I try that search again, you can see I just get the article. I actually don't get anything dynamic in that easel itself. So, Beam. I'll definitely be giving it a try and see if I use the journal, being able to take those notes. Seems like a pretty neat way to just take these snippets. You can do tweets, things from Spotify, videos, whatever you find really easily. I love the option button where you just hold that down and you can pull in whatever you want. And I think the search functionality is gonna be something that really separates it out. So beam, go give it a try. It should be open for anyone to download and let me know what you think. Especially if you're still on the wait list for ARC, this might be a good one to test out. I'll be testing again, but if you have questions, please let me know, and thanks for watching.